All right, today what I want to show you is something that I made up from a couple things that I I've seen and ideas I've gotten on the internet, and it's um, what it is? It's a tin tin can cook set, and I'll I'll show you what's in it. It's all inside this container here. I got a uh, airborne pill canister. Um, got some stuff in there. I have a an Altoids tin. Put that on there. I have a. Let's see here, something that's stuck, so I'm just going to pull the whole thing out. I got two tin cups. One tin cup there. And uh, a tin cup that I can use, as, with got a little handle on it, if I guess I need that. I got a little stirry thing. My salt and pepper. Put that down there. And then the main can with its uh, wire handles. All right, the first thing I got here is uh, got some sausage meat. I'm gonna throw that into the, uh, the big can. All right, in the hatch it goes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, start frying that over the fire. All right, what I'd like to do is I'm gonna try something. Just had this crazy idea I'm gonna try something here. So what I, the other thing I got here is, I have a, I have an egg. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I have, I have this little can. I'm gonna put the egg in that one. Okay. So we'll crack that. I'm just gonna crack that into that can. Let that sit. Put the eggshell on the fire there. And then I have my uh, my cup, my tin cup. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try something really crazy here. Get the leaf out of there. Try something really crazy. I don't know if my fire is going to handle all this cooking, but I'm going to uh, put some water in my tin cup here. And uh, that's probably that's probably enough. I'm going to try to actually poach an egg here. Um, poaching eggs is probably a little better for you than frying. Not that I really care. You can tell I don't I need to worry about that stuff too much. So I'm going to take the, uh, the egg, put it in the thing with the water, and then uh, I got my, my tin foil left over. I'm just going to use that and, and cover that up. So um, I'm going to put this on the coals right over here and just let that, try to keep that, that handle out of there a little bit. Let that boil. And you can't really see that because my knees are in the way. I'm gonna put that on the, the coals over there, and uh, just let that boil that water and poach that egg. All right, I got my uh, Altoids tin. It's got a biscuit in there, so what I'm gonna do is I'll put that over the fire too. Um, not right away though, because I'm gonna work on this uh, the sausage. See how the sausage is doing. Oh, very good, very good. Not too bad. I want to get a little grease in here. I want to get a lot of grease in here actually because here's another crazy idea I had. I want to try to make uh, some biscuits and gravy. And we'll see how that works. So I'll get that over the fire again. Let me just bring it down a hair. I'm going to take you to show you what's going on over here. In there we have our sausage cooking. And over here we have our, our egg. And it looks like it's poaching pretty well actually. So uh, we'll probably start the next step of our, uh, our bacon, not uh, bacon, our sausage gravy. All right, what I'm going to do is I, uh, in my Altoids, my Altoids, my Airborne, i got so many containers, I don't know which one is which. I put, uh, there's some flour in there. I'm just going to put the flour, mix a little bit of that flour into the, uh, the grease that I've gotten from the, from the, uh, the sausage and just mix that in there. What that does is, we're going to try to make a roux here. Now, I don't have a lot of grease. I thought I'd have more grease in that from this kind of sausage, but, um, hopefully this will still work out. It's going to be a very, um, not very creamy like you'd have a real sausage gravy, but, 
we'll see what happens here. So I, I added the flour and then I'm gonna add a little water into that and we're gonna boil this thing up. And uh, what I'll do here is I'll, I'll probably sit this right on the coals now because I need, uh, I need the heat for that. Let's drop that down. Looks like my egg is almost done. Let's sit for a little while longer. And I guess it's probably about time to uh, start baking my biscuit. So what I'm gonna do is uh, put this in the back fire here, find a spot for it, and just let it sit for a while, and we'll bake that up. Looks like our egg is done. I'm gonna take him and put him to the side. Put him uh, out of the way. And this guy looks like he's coming along pretty well. In fact, that looks better than I expected. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I think the last thing to check on then, I'll just put this to the side. That looks pretty good. I don't know if it tastes good, but it looks good. Let that sit. Okay, just gonna have to check on uh, check on the biscuit here. We're just gonna turn him over, and let him bake on that side a little bit. And I'm just gonna take a look at it because I'm not sure how quickly this will do right on the coals like this. soft still so I'm gonna put it back in all right that smells like we're getting a little burnage so we're gonna take that off it smells like we're getting a little burning take that off this guy looks like he's just about done Well, I grabbed a little uh, non-essential, a plate. I don't have a way to incorporate that into my tin can set yet, but um, anyways, as you can see, I uh, got my, my egg. As you can see, I got my egg, my sausage and gravy, biscuits, made them all in my, uh, in my set right here over a nice little fire. Hmm. Not bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> this is some good stuff. Poaching the egg was actually um, a neat way to do it. It came out of the can pre. The can was pre. I pre greased the pan, the can. But um, the egg uh, it came out of the can really easily, and it doesn't. You don't have any chance of it burning because it's poaching. It's it's just going to get to the temperature of the boiling water. So that was um, just an idea I had, and it worked. Hmm. Breakfast for dinner. <laughs>